there there ought to be rationing now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, really not ready to go into place. Um, everything is geared towards short-term profit. And uh, the way uh, petroleum uh, distributes things, uh, we have what's known as just-in-time delivery. So you have commerce, uh, factory production, uh, transportation, uh, everything that uh, we recognize as the modern economy uh, dependent on uh, endlessly growing supplies of cheap energy and the materials made from petroleum. Now, um, you, you throw a monkey wrench into that, uh, there's going to be a massive disruption. And it would only take a number of days when people cannot get to their jobs or trucks not pulling into Safeway and uh, other critical locations that the people are not going to sit back calmly and say, oh, well, gosh, uh, let's start learning about fasting <laughs> or um, let's start to go garden, folks, and, and in 60 days radishes will come up. Um, it's going to be a time of uh, pandemonium. And the best we can do is to uh, warn people of this and encourage preparation and to have people boycott petroleum. Uh, the less we use of it, the more emancipated we are from uh, technology and uh, petroleum, uh, the more we're going to uh, live in such a way to be uh, more resilient and uh, uh, able to uh, utilize whatever the local ecosystem has to offer and get back to community. Mm -hmm. This is critical mm -hmm. because uh, endless petroleum supplies have, have contributed greatly to the isolated consumer right. syndrome. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now I know that um, that there are other scenarios <clears throat> of how this how this might play out. Uh, this, uh, you know, the onset of peak oil, um, and we have a we have a, a diagram. Um, we 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 have a diagram of of the the scenario that you just described, which we'll look at last. But I would like to, uh, yeah. Here we go. A catabolic collapse now. Um, <clears throat> I've heard this, heard about a, uh, this kind of collapse from uh, one source uh, I mentioned prior to the show, Matt Simmons, and and apparently there's somebody else named uh, uh, Druid Greer, or, uh, John, Michael John Greer. Michael Greer. John Michael Greer. And uh, so, <clears throat> how does how does this thing play out here? What did how do we how do we read this? The, the idea of the stair step um, collapse is that uh, there will be a rebounding of economic activity when oil prices go down. Mm -hmm. And then this will in turn uh, cause you know, more consumption uh, and it, it's an endless cycle. This is a lot like classical economics, mm -hmm. which denies uh, resource uh, uh, limits. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, um, it, Th this theory is is based on um, a long time frame for uh, collapsing empires and civilizations, mm -hmm. and this is how it worked in the past. But it's a different ball game now with our, our vast population size, our much greater dependence on petroleum, mm -hmm. and our, our loss of skills, our mm -hmm. lack of connection to the land. But one one argument in favor of this, at least partially, is. Uh, this is what happened in the last cycle. Gasoline hit four dollars a gallon. All of a sudden, you saw carpooling. You saw the max uh, ridership in, go up through the roof. They were adding new uh, lines or new uh, cars to each line, adding or looking at ways to add buses and so forth. Consumption fell because consumption people just fell. Could, they yeah. either couldn't afford it or they lost their job, job and or really whatever. couldn't afford it. And then all of a sudden, prices collapsed again. They collapsed lower than we've seen in decades, it seemed like. Now, gen I mean, granted, this cycle can't keep on going. At some point, you do, you do run into limits. And but we're also seeing that the, some of the oil companies are starting to close down refineries. refineries yeah. But, but that event was not about a, a real serious sudden shortage. Well, that was more of a financial manipulation, but this, the same effect was it did boost the prices. Uh, into the stratosphere. Well, I'd, I'd like to point out that uh, this event and uh, our events of a few years are actually mm -hmm. a very tiny slice of, sure. of human experience. So uh, we're, we're not going to see 
the stair the staircase collapse in, in, in the future. Looking back, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's going to, it's going to look like um, uh, a real sharp decline. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my view. Now mm -hmm. it, it may not be a ski jump kind mm -hmm. of slope. Uh, it may be it may be very bumpy, mm -hmm. but when you have uh, the inability of the oil industry to uh, keep up uh, the supply of, of all these products that we're so dependent on. Mm -hmm. And when that's interrupted, and when you have businesses failing mm -hmm. because employees cannot get to work, when you have a serious shortage, and uh, the oil industry uh, basically cannot uh, come in and respond to that because there are disruptions to the economy, mm -hmm. Uh, this is this is something where we might be entirely without oil because we're so uh, desperately focusing on getting uh, local food supplies and shelter and mm -hmm. and some modicum of transport such as bikes and bike cars going on, on that level and so for the oil industry to have oil in the ground and to have refineries that still work it may not be relevant it, it depends how how hard this hits how sharp sure. the, uh, the the crunch is sure. for uh, oil supply. But what about the ability for people to adapt? Uh, what about the, when you factor in the ability for people to adapt, as we've seen people do, they carpool more and more. And as long as you don't reach a certain tipping point, the economy will readjust, uh, some, uh, readjust and reconfigure itself to a point. Obviously at some point there's a tipping point and it just goes down. But we're seeing this where it can adjust. We're seeing prices force change to a point. Um, we're seeing, what was it? Um, I might want blank. I hate that. <laughs> um, anyways, that, that kind of situation. But this doesn't really address the realities of how the oil industry works. The oil industry cannot ratchet down to fit a bell curve theory or the needs of an economy or recognizing that people are conserving to a great extent because oil companies and oil facilities run at full tilt generally huh. now if if you have refineries not able to go at, at a comfortable utilization of capacity this presents a problem um, right but it, see what we're, what we're finding now is those those some of those refineries are being closed down they're talking about Closing the refinery in Aruba, talking about closing a couple of other refineries. One on the east coast. On One of the east coast. coast. But that's, think... that's that's not a valid strategy. Uh, it, it is not part of uh, oil industry economics or the growth economy to contract. So we're we're in a, a very questionable uh, no man's land. Sure. Uh, in in looking at this, so it's I don't think it's healthy to assume that there's going to be an orderly uh, staircase kind of, of uh, withdrawal well, I'm not from maximum oil use. I'm not saying that it will be orderly or a stair step or staircase withdrawal. I'm saying it'll be periods of shock, disruption going down, and then adaptation, plateauing, reconfiguring and so okay, forth. If I may interrupt. <laughs> Go ahead. Be the referee. Stuff. I mean, I'd be the ma master space, but I am the master of time on this show. <laughs> mm. Let's have a, go for another roll in, give our audience a chance to breathe for a minute, and then come back and, and we will rejoin our conversation. Roll in. Okay. Some good intentions. Yay or nay? Uh, okay, here we go. I think. Okay, okay. More, more talking. Okay, Jan, All right, as you were saying. Okay. All right. Um, this idea you have mm -hmm. is it caters to the comfort. Here, here we go. Airplane. It's a United States Air Force B 2 stealth bomber. It's one of the main airplanes the United States uses to bomb stuff and people. You want to guess how much one of these things costs? Well, they are $1.5 billion each. Each, okay? Billion, not million. That's an amount of money most people can't even comprehend. I mean, let me put it this way. If you had a good job that paid you 
fifty thousand dollars a year.